Hi, I'm Stavros and welcome to King's Truck Styling here in County Clare in Ireland. I'm here today to show you a full exterior tour and interior tour of this brand new 770S with its V8 engine. An awful lot of customization work has been done here by King's on this 770. Let's check it out and yeah, the loud stacks as well. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, so I've come here in the evening time just it gives you a better look at all of the lights that have been uh, added to this truck by Kings. Loads of paintwork has been done and yeah, wait until you see the rear of the truck, the way it's finished and of course those loud stacks, you're going to enjoy the sound of them. Okay, so you see the light bar with the five spotlights there as well up on top, they are very bright and then the light bar up on top with a flashing beacon and you'll notice the air horn is just tucked in nicely behind uh, usually there's a bracket that gets stuck here uh, but no it's nice and tidy in at the back of the bar and you'll notice as well the spotlight surrounds there have been gloss black painted and there's gloss black all around the base of the windscreen there and up along the pillar here and also on the mirror arm as well all painted gloss black and of course the blue mirrors to match in with the exterior paintwork and you'll see all of the airbrushing there on the side as well just giving it a very distinctive look uh, there are Ford tractors that have been painted on this and there's also a Scania airbrushed on the far side as well so yeah and you'll notice as well on the aluminium wheels you see these tire uh, pressure detectors here so uh, that's quite good. I've not actually seen a Scania with these. I've seen Renault trucks. Uh, Bobby's barking in the background. <laughs> yeah, so, and you'll notice as well the weight on this side as well to kind of balance it out. Yeah, on the tire pressure monitoring system there. And it's also on the rear wheels. Let's just look at that. So, the two brackets there for the double wheels at the back. Yeah, so quite interesting. I've uh, first time seeing a Scania with them. As I said, uh, Renault also have them. I've noticed it on some of their trucks, but look at the work here on the back. The stacks. <laughs> All of the lockers here at the back. Great space in these. You can see it there, and they also have a light inside as well. So fantastic to have all of those storage lockers at the back and also one in the middle there as well. So let's have a quick look inside at all of the electric cables for all of the wiring of the lights at the back. And there is the cover that Adrian has made up, Adrian King, of all of the fuses and the way it's wired. Fantastic. There you go. <laughs> Can you see that again? in there very tidy work all of the checker plate here on the chassis and four nuts here will take off each plate three plates one two three and just four nuts is all it's needed to take them off so that's good and i really like the covers here as well for the diesel tank and you'll notice there's two on the far side for the ad blue and the other diesel tank but if i just give you a look at the work here now of course there is a join up here <laughs> somewhere around the middle here but of course it's uh, you can't detect it with the human eye uh, it's just incredible work and then you notice the way the stack here is cut the way it's cut and if I can get uh, a zoom in there just to show you the finish yeah it is a bit dark but there you go you see the way it's curved in and that is to maximize the locker space here so if this was like straight in like this it would probably rob a bit of space and you'd have to move this bracket back but yeah it's done that way to optimize the space on the rear lockers and yeah so you've got a uh, tail lights there and brake lights in the square lights and then these are work lights and indicators so and they are very bright as well now the wind deflector on the roof does not have a winder my one on the s580 has a winder and you can also get these with electric motors that will rise and lower the top wind deflector but this one you have to do it manually it'll probably be stuck in its one position and won't need adjusting but I would be adjusting it uh, often enough depending on the height of the trailer 
I would be pulling. So let's just stand back and have a look at it there. Yeah, it does look very well. <laughs> Great work here by Kings. And you'll see as well, you see the cover in the middle here. This is covering two air tanks. And it's done this way because the air tank obviously protrudes up a bit. And that's why it's shaped the way it is. And then the finish here and also here. And the lamp, all this work all around the lamp, all customized by Kings and all that strip down the side and you see the lights there at the bottom and also the blue lights underneath as well so they look nice at night just uh, shining on the ground and let's just move around the back and show you the work so all of this covering here on the chassis all done by Kings and of course this is embossed on the S580 that I drive but it's all hand painted just to kind of highlight it more on the rear and then paint it in along here and this added section at the base and more blue lights underneath and even underneath uh, the rear lights double lamps here at the back and even the extra piece down here usually people put another plastic piece but it looks a bit odd but this one has a steel piece here at the back and it's look how well it matches in uh, at the rear for the double lights and yeah the fifth wheel fixed in position so yeah let's just have a look underneath this side as well yeah the lamps looking very well and these are flashing indicators as well all up along there on the air deflector now you'll notice it is the narrow air deflector on most of the scanias it'll be coming back to about here but these ones are specified just to show off the stacks a bit better on the side of the truck and yeah you can probably get a better look at the curve on the stack there at the rear it's just shaped that way as i said just to maximize the locker space and the locker itself was recessed into the mounting point here at the back you probably get a better look there yeah just to get the most out of the locker space it was recessed in around the frame that is holding in the rear locker and then the 770 sign lighting up at the rear and all the Susie's there all tidied up and there is an electrical outlet there at the back as well okay um, let's just open up the passenger side just to give you a look oh yeah let me just stand back and give you a look at the airbrushing on this side another Ford tractor <laughs> and up here as well we have a T-cab Scania and down here as well another one on the side skirt let's uh, on a gloss black all around the handle here Oh yeah, and you'll notice down here as well, uh, when you put the truck into reverse, these shine out like a spotlight, and then they are a marker light as well. And then this piece here with uh, another marker light, and blue underneath, <laughs> and underneath the bumper as well, all blue lights underneath there. So let's just hop up here because um, the work that Kings do here on the fuses. So these top, two banks of fuses here have all been fitted by Kings bar these two these two top banks and then all of these relays all fitted here as well just for all the electrics on the truck and they're all marked as well okay so let's just um, stand back and give you a look at the front of the truck as well oh yeah you notice these red lights they're not in the S580 that I drive but uh, this is quite nice look you see the v8 sign there <laughs> it shines on the lamp there so you can also get the scania griffin if you want a different lamp than this one but it's a nice touch on the scania okay let's just stand back and have another look there before we hop inside and start it up and give you a sound of the stacks yeah looking nice and the strobe lights there at the front 770s okay let's oh yeah and this is an extra piece as well the wind deflector here and this is hand painted stenciled on and then hand painted the 770s great piece of work uh, okay four steps up onto the 770s now this is just the normal cab it is not the uh, higher cab like the one that i would drive 
and you'll notice as well uh, this one has the mounting point I think it's for a TV and even the electric outlet there so I've not seen that before that's a new one on me and this one has the mattress topper I really need to get one of these <laughs> I really like that and yeah the V8 sign at the back and the red inserts there and also on the instrument cluster yeah quite good and this one has the phone mount as well and of course it does have the fridge and it has the storage drawer there as well I think you can get two fridges for these if you don't want that as a storage drawer and yeah this one has a clutch pedal because it is for heavy haulage so yeah even though it has the OptiCruise gearbox there is a clutch pedal I like that let's just hope Volkswagen have fixed the issues with the infotainment software <laughs> glitching up yeah so yeah nice interior and the three lockers there at the back and the big sunroof there and three more lockers of course they are narrower than the higher cab still nice okay we're going to do a start up now and just to give you a sound of the engine okay so i have the stacks turned off we'll do one start up with the stacks off okay just make sure i'm in neutral yeah okay here we go stacks off start it up see what it sounds like yeah it sounds almost like the s580 probably more a slight more of a grumble give it a couple of revs okay i don't want to rev it too hard and then stacks on here we go okay you can hear a bit of a rumble already a couple of more revs whoa <laughs> that's so much louder That's loud. Okay, let's knock it off. Yeah, and the Scania remote as well. That hasn't changed at all. They've been using the same remote for years, <laughs> the Scanias. Yeah, so if you're somebody that has this in your pocket a lot, it can get damaged around here and frayed and sometimes the lock button won't work, which happened to me on the R560. Okay, let's hop outside and yeah, I've complained about this before, but obviously Scania hasn't listened, that there is still no recess here to get your fingers in. You know, it's just a tiny little gap. So if you've got gloves on, it's very hard to get this open and pushing this at the same time. So is there any miracle that Scania can actually put a proper recess here so that you can open this with gloves on, please? Anyway, okay, let's stand back. One last look and then we'll get the truck started up and give it a few revs on the outside. Okay, so we've the cab tilted just to give you a look at the engine on the 770S. So this is the electric cab tilting function uh, that's done by remote control. It's in behind the grill here. So you can see the way it's mounted there. Let's just uh, give you a look at that. Uh, easy enough to pull out. Yeah, it's a nice optional extra on the trucks, but um, handy to have. So none of this getting the bar out and uh, fitting it <laughs> inside in the side of the step and jacking it up. Uh, it goes up yeah, quite quickly there, uh, the remote function on the cab tilting, nice to have. We can give you a better look here with the cab slightly tilted just of the work that they had to do and the cut here and the join, seamless join here and yeah and even the locker space there, the way it was recessed in around the frame just to maximise the amount of space inside and you see the high temperature hoses there as well that had to be fitted for the exhaust system and all of the piping there as well and the bracket as well all designed and 
fabricated here at King's. But uh, yeah, just excellent work. Okay, let's drop down the cab. You have to press in this red button and then the top button at the same time. It's a safety feature that you have to press both to raise and lower the cab. So there you go, let's get it down, do another start up. Okay, we're gonna do one last start up and you remember Bobby! Bobby the dog! <laughs> yeah, he's gone mad, this dog jumping up on top of me. Uh, <laughs> he's fantastic. I love that dog. But yeah, we're just gonna do one last start up now of the 770S. And King's also had another 770S here during last week as well and they were doing loads of work on that as well so yeah 3700 newton meters of torque from a 16 liter v8 engine huge power <laughs> and it's a rear lifting tag axle it's not a double drive just in case you're wondering with the clutch pedal as well on the optic cruise gearbox okay a couple of more revs and we'll wrap it up I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll be back again next time for another video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Cheers! Okay, we've got Reese. This is the next generation of King Truck Styling <laughs> in his Land Rover Defender. Nice number plate, Reese. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs>